Right then, so here is the print which I just made and it's come out quite nice. This is uh, printed in PLA. And it's came out really nice actually. Uh, the top bit is quite thin so it's warped. Uh, unfortunately it came off the bed before it could print the... Uh, it should have had standoff bits on there as well. But uh, as long as I've got this piece it doesn't really make much difference. Uh, that will just go on top here if I wanted to put like a camera FPV camera on or something. But I've got uh, some of these uh, little standoffs which I can use instead, which will I can use to put that on there like that. So for the electronics, what I'm going to actually use is uh, is this old um, clone of a SEMA X5C. It's a Q7 quadcopter so I've ripped the guts out of that and I'm going to put that onto the quadcopter. Okay so here's a quadcopter, uh, I've actually printed another one off in red. Uh, this is in ABS and I've put all the electronics on there and it looks pretty good. I'm flying it without the top piece at the moment, I've just uh, taped a battery onto the bottom. Uh, so yeah, let's go and see how it flies. Okay, so uh, yeah, that was a flight anyway. Uh, the video wasn't very good because I'm using my phone as a head cam and it's quite heavy. Because um, the SJ4000 at the moment, the, I found out the battery's dead on it. So, anyway, uh, next time I'll use that. Uh, also, don't put your handset down uh, when you're messing around and then you go and stomp on it and break the uh, control stick off. So I was having a little bit of a trouble flying it with a short stick but I'll super glue that back on. <laughs> anyway thanks for watching, um, I'll put a link in the description to the Q7 quadcopter, it's quite a good little quad. Uh, yeah so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, bye! <laughs>